all the flavors. Yeah, we would pretty much use Seville oranges in Europe, but pomelo here is a grapefruit and, you know, actually similar to a grapefruit as well, but it's just really it's works a, well with scallop. It's a scallop, that meaty smoothness that really adds a little kick, and a special kick into the salad. Wonderful. Thank you, Chef. Okay, thanks. Mm. Bring out the salad for the audience. So a great start, and there is more. So keep it here on Secrets to the Masters as we have Chef Philip Golding for the night. and dined by Chef Philip Golding and earlier on he made us a salad that had so much flavor as he put in bacon, fried oysters and even scallops. Now we move on to another seafood dish. He's playing around with fish, the French way. Take it away Chef Philip. Okay, so we have a, a traditional uh, method of cooking. It's on papillot, so it's pretty much in the bag. There are different ways of cooking to retain the whole flavor of uh, say chicken or fish. So we made these little tin bags here with parchment paper which we will butter and season and a touch of olive oil in there so it doesn't stick to the to the aluminium. We seal it, we put it in the oven. There's another very, very wonderful ingredient that I love which is three times the price of gold, which is saffron. Again, herbs from our pub garden, so basil, dill, oregano inside there. We have some Beautiful, beautiful Spanish mackerel, Ooh. and uh, we, we can have, we have some salmon. Again, you can use clams, local clams, or you can use mussels, thong. Uh, you can use that as a very flavorful stock. We season it with a little bit of calamansi juice, so it's just a fish stock. So we'll start with the, uh, with the mackerel. So we're just going to cut a portion out. This is for a little fish course. Salmon, take out the black bloodline. There's a little bloodline there which is quite unpleasant. I think you can see it there. We'll take that out. Will you keep this, uh, the vegetables inside too? The yeah, they'll cook uh, roughly at the same time. Uh, we'll, uh, you can add a number of, depending on what you want, if you want capsicums or uh, zucchini in there. Try to stay away from too many green vegetables because they're obviously discolour in the cooking process. Zucchini. Oh, uh, zucchini, okay. So meanwhile, Dong will uh, season the bag and butter and olive, put some a little bit of olive oil in the uh, aluminium uh, tin foil bag. Yum papillon. So again, you can just make your own using foil. Uh, yes. Spread the butter into the parchment paper. Put the vegetables in there. Okay. All that flavor will go in there. Now with the mackerel, I'm just going to gently score the fish and we'll season the fish. We have an oven at 160. How do you seal the bag? You just folded it? Just fold it very tight. Double seal the bag. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't spill out. That's the... Uh, that's the trick. And all those um, herbs and spices will cook through and that should take around eight minutes. Yeah. You're saying this is a very healthy way of uh, cooking very, very because it's quick. very, very true to uh, its flavors, its aroma, even everything's locked in. Yeah, in it there. would be considered a French version of cuisine naturelle. So that's what it is. Okay, so after eight minutes of uh, omni, sorry, what's it called again? The French? Om papillot. Om papillot. So basically, uh, very hot, if you're careful of that tray. And it's a dry tray because everything's just in that sealed bag. Mm. Well, you know, if it's a barbecue party, you wouldn't have to plate it. You just serve it straight at the table and everybody opens the bag and um, it, that would be pretty much the best way to go. 
But because we're going to plate it, we're going to have to take it out of the bag. Okay. And this is where it becomes very tricky, yeah? I don't advise, uh, open it with your hands, right? So okay. you cut, cut them with scissors. You now? pretty much see that the fish is... Cold. Oh, and that yeah. smells wonderful. Inside there. With the carrots and zucchini and stuff. Mm. I'm going to take it out. So if I can invite you up to... Try, without burning myself. <laughs> uh, thank you for setting it up for me. Yes. Okay. Cut it. There you have it. This is once again your... Uh, on papillot of mackerel, Spanish mackerel and salmon with uh, shredded uh, zucchini carrots in a saffron broth. Saffron and clam broth. Okay, before we dig in this fish dish, we're also going to prepare another one to cut or clean our palate after this dish. You're going to make some sort of a sorbet, right? Yeah, this is um, an untraditional sorbet where we don't have to cook uh, sugar into the uh, beginning process. So Russell's going to come and help me here, and he's basically going to start with uh, his tequila, triple sec, lime juice, and uh, we'll add some rock salt, and then we'll just put it into the sorbet machine. So basically, you're making a night out into a sorbet. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. So I think it's going to start with uh, six tablespoons of the tequila. Goes in with the triple sec. Lime. A little bit of lime cordial and some fresh lime and lemon in there. A couple of tablespoons of mineral water. Okay. Good. Water it down. We're not even halfway through the night yet, and you're getting me drunk. Put a little bit of uh, rock salt. Okay. Some lemon juice. Okay, okay. so let's have the machine. And there we go. Very quick sorbet. Okay. And About that 20 takes... Minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. That, would that amount for you 15? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But good thing we have some prepared. From yaks. That's our little pork glasses. So you, you can either use egg white uh, or a little bit of lime juice, dip it around, and then you use your rock salt. That's beautiful. There you go. Get to the sorbet. Let's try the fish. Mm. Aroma really plays a big part of appreciating this dish. Like it's a good thing you asked me to prepare it because the smell alone was really appetizing. But everything here is clean to its flavor. The salmon tastes like salmon. The mackerel tastes like mackerel, and all the vegetables they just clean, true to their Very flavor. Honest. Yeah, it's an honest dish. No, nothing complicated about it at all, but just real clean, fresh flavors. Obviously, the luxury in this is that saffron, which is yeah. very, very unique. Uh, there's one other dish that I like uh, that, that really brings out the trueness of saffron, which is an ice cream. A saffron ice cream is, is again, very purist, very honest. And that's what we, we intend, you know, that's what we, we do up in Clark. We cook uh, with a lot of honesty, with a lot of fresh ingredients, yeah. yeah. Nothing to cover up nothing or cosmetic. nothing to, no. yeah. And what's nice about, I think, the, the saffron is that it added to the, the wonderful aroma. Definitely. Then, um... The clam, you can taste that clam saltiness hint, in the back. Just a hint. Mm. Yep. Which goes to the fish. Yeah. So, that's why it gives you that freshness. It still tastes like the sea. Good one. And of course, salmon is kind of a heavy fish. There's a lot of flavor in it. So I see your need for a palate the cleanser. Palate after, yeah. Yeah, Actually, even the mackerel. That Sauvignon Blanc uh, on the, the first course, the oyster kit course, would pair beautifully with, with this dish as well. You've got that citrusy that will cut through any of the fat in the mackerel. Mm -hmm. But since we don't have that now, and we do have this, ooh, <laughs> I'm already shuddering. <laughs> do you want me to drink this in a shot? <laughs> That's why I'm going to taste a little bit, okay? <laughs> whew. That's a lot of tequila. <laughs> Yeah. But it did its job. It cleaned my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shoot this when you guys aren't looking. In the meantime, let's see the audience. Come on out. <laughs>